Thank you so much. Well, first of all, congratulations for your new film. Uh, Thank you. Well, you killing me from the beginning when when you're warning the following film contains images of animal cruelty. I really knew that that's gonna be destroying me. So, but in a in a good way uh, with your filmography, I didn't expect a, a a movie like this. But I mean that in a good way, it speaks well it speaks well of your ability to navigate different stories. So. I understand that is your first non-fiction film. So can you tell us what inspired you to, to create a movie about animal rescue? Uh, it was really Warren uh, um, and I having a conversation at the Cannes Film Festival. He was there with Snow Leopard and I was there with Nitram. And um, he, he, he started just talking about what he'd been doing in COVID. And, um, you know, he, he was really prolific. And, uh, and then he sort of at the end of it and said, oh, yeah, and I've, I've I've sort of managed to support a, a, a wildlife sanctuary in Sumatra and um, I was really kind of shocked and really curious and amazed by it. And then he started sort of talking about the park and talking about the evolution of it and the fact that he hadn't been. And that really um, made me interested in the fact that, you know, it, that that first journey of him taking a trip to the park and discovering it and this idea of um sort of following some an, an artist like Warren to to this place really um you know was was um yeah excited me so um so we just started we just we just I, I went to the park and I sort of met everyone and met the animals and sort of started to understand you know the amazing stuff that they were doing and and then we went and filmed Warren and sort of put a lens on Warren's sort of uh childhood and 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 kind of you know perhaps what sort of led him to um this sort of point in his life and and some of the you know the the um desire to support this park and um and uh yeah so it was it was um it was it was really him it was sort of um conversations with him and you know and and then obviously the film sort of you know was not only about the park but it was also sort of about Warren and his journey in life and his his you know point of view as an artist and um yeah and well these films um uh, feels very emotional and personal so do you have any personal connection to the subject of the animals or or animal rescue Well, it became very personal when I was there and I was deeply uh, disturbed and upset by um, the sort of cruelty that was happening, um, but also um, there's a there's a there's an there's um, a baby uh, sort of monkey that that arrives at the at the um, sanctuary at the beginning and that had a huge effect on all of us because it it had its mother obviously been killed because usually they are they're, they're so fiercely protected of, of their babies that they'll do anything to kind of protect them so this baby's mother would obviously been killed in front of the baby and you could just feel and see instantly that grief and it was it was so um familiar to me you know the way in which it was sort of holding on to the carer and the way it, you know, the way it was shaking, it's it's grief in its eyes. It was deeply, um, deeply moving to us, and I think it, it, um, it. I don't know. It it made the no. It it made the uh, it, it contextualized the trauma that was happening to these animals in a very human way, and um, that that kind of shifted everything. So, I I became. Um, you know, I, I, I just, my heart fell into the park and, and I, you know, um, and, I, and I was desperate for Warren to see it. You know, at, at that time he hadn't been there yet. So I was, um, you know, I, I was really excited for him um, to see kind of what he'd been part of and, and, and just the enormous care, love, energy, passion that um, the people at the park were, you know, we're, we're, you know, carrying out every day. 
And um, yeah, the, the the thing that you that you say was 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 really moving. And the movie shows the relationship between humans and animals uh, in a very special way. So how did you approach these scenes as a director uh, to the animals in, in general? Because it's like, I don't know, with that scene that you mentioned, ah, I was crying. Uh, but also you don't show like so many, um, I don't know, violent scenes, but still being really moving. For example, the, the, the scene that you say about this uh, little monkey is like, I don't know, just so in here. Uh, his eyes is like, I don't know, that eye said, said everything. Yeah, well, I, look, I think like Jermaine, the DOP shot the animals, filmed the animals, you know, in a very human way. He He didn't, you know, he, he got in the enclosures with them. He was extremely close to them. They see, He had an incredible way with them and they seemed to trust him and seemed to trust his sort of energy. So we were really fortunate in the relationship that he built with the animals. We were able to just sort of film them like we were filming the people in the park. So I think that intimacy really helped. We didn't want it to feel distant. We wanted it to feel really close. And, and um, you know, so he, he spent a lot of time sort of with them and gain their trust. And unfortunately also the handlers, uh, then the people working at the park were, were really, um, you, you know, very giving and supportive of how we could use the camera and, 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 you know, and how intimate we could sort of become with, with the, um, with the animals. So um, they, you know, they, they, they allowed us a kind of intimacy that, you know, we were really grateful for. And how did you prepare for this uh, documentary? Well, that was, well, that was the thing. I kind of had all these ideas and thoughts about what it would be, and it turned out the absolute opposite. Every time I would sort of try to do an idea or plan something, it never worked. So I realised very quickly, I mean, Warren pointed at that, you're just going to have to go, you're just going to have to go with it. Like whatever happens during the day, you're just going to have to go with it and don't have these sort of preconceived ideas of what it's going to be. And as soon as I did that, as soon as I just sort of started to live in the present of it and be really kind of um, listening and looking around me and sort of starting to really think about what was un unveil uh, unveiling itself, then then it it started to sort of speak to me as a film. But up until that, I was, I was you know, I'd prepped it. Because you, you do, like when you're doing fictional films, you you, you prep them a lot and you're, and you're, and you're trying to kind of cat, catch a kind of vision. And that's not to say this didn't have a vision, but I think that the vision really sort of came out of um, just starting and, and, and just watching and feeling what, you know, what, what was really curious to us. And well, um, as someone who is who's vegan, I found the story very powerful, and also not uh, your filmography in, gen in general is like I don't know intense emotions and deep uh, human conflicts. So with El Ellie Spark uh, focusing on the rescue animal, did you working on this film make your reflect on your own relationship with animals? I don't know, maybe with animal rights or something more personal. Um. Well, I'm you know obviously incredibly supportive of the park, and you know that, and and what I'm really love about it is there's no sort of bu bureaucracy around it. Like the people that are in the park and are working with the animals are the people that receive the support and the finance and you know I, I I love that I it was very direct you know that it didn't feel like it was part of a large organization that was sort of a branch of it it felt very much like well this is the park and these are the people and and the people that you know are on the website are the people that are feeding the animals every day and looking after them and you know up at 3 a.m you know to you know suddenly 50 meerkats come in and they have to kind of stay up for three days kind of doing you know looking after them so that that I found really inspiring um I don't know you know I I, I definitely uh, you know 
I've got two dogs and I love these dogs and I, I would definitely felt after coming back from the park, a kind of deeper connection with them. You know, I was, I was, you know, I, I just felt very, um, uh, I had a heightened sense of an animal's feelings. You know, I think that it's very easy for uh, an, an animal's um, animals to be kind of misheard or mis um red and and definitely being around so many animals and seeing them in different sort of states of stress or or calm or whatever you you become very attuned by the signals and by the behavior and and it was really interesting like when i came back to my domestic animals i, I did sort of feel um yeah I, I felt i felt sensitive to kind of them a, a, in a very different way than i had before i left and um well, this, there are many films about animals, but uh, Ellis Park for me is, uh, I don't know, feels like unique for, because it's like combined with, with the music and sometimes it's like really poetic. So what do you think make it stand out from other movies in this genre? And also, uh, what do you want the, uh, the audience to take away from, from this movie? Well, the biggest thing I want them to take away is to go and support the park, that, that they feel inspired and they feel um, uh, like they need to help. And the park is, uh, you know, um, completely independent. It, it relies on donations of people. And uh, oh, hopefully it brings some, um, you know, it, it brings some support uh, and and an eye on the extraordinary work that, that Femke and the others are doing uh the other handlers and 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 veterinarians and helpers are doing there um so that's that that's the biggest thing i want out of it and that that, that i hope people respond to um and then you know i i think that the film is a very personal journey about you know it's 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 also about life it's about kind of grief and it's about creativity and it's about um repair and healing um you know i hope that sort of people watch it and are really uh, are in, are inspired and 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 think about um their own place in the world a little bit and also uh, i i really want to talk about the the music of nick cave and, and warren ellis well their their music at um has always had a deep emotion layer uh, in, on, on the film. So how do, did their music influence Ellie Park and, and the way you, you wanted to portray the relationship between humans and, and animals? And also if you can talk a little bit about the cinematography because it's stunning. Uh, well, Warren, Warren was the artist that, that um, did the, the original music on the, on the film so uh we always knew that we wanted him playing in the film and to see him play in the context of him playing and how extraordinary he is um but then, and then the soundtrack started to evolve throughout the film as he started to respond to these different places and especially sumatra um, and i was really fascinated by that 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 you could see the act of creating happening in the film and that this soundtrack was sort of you know being born as the film was sort of progressing um so that that was uh you know that that was sort of our main influence for music it was warren and 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 his artistry and his playing and then the dop jermaine mcmicking um just has an enormous sensitivity he, he comes from documentary making he's an extraordinary kind of feature film make uh, cinematographer as well and you know a lot of the intimacy in the film is 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 because of him and and because of him feeling and seeing as the scene plays out what what you know what's actually happening like what the emotion is within a conversation or within an interaction with an animal and then i think just that broader landscape in the film uh, because it's an amazing place it's surrounded by volcanoes it's you know this extraordinary water it's these jungles are just incredible and there's just 
you know, this abundance of wildlife just sort of, you know, kind of um, streaming out of the out of the canopy of um, of of the of the forest. So, you know, it was about sort of trying to, um, you know, just bring on screen the spirit and scale of that as well as 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 these really sort of intimate conversations and you know that that are sort of happening within. And these little interactions that are happening between the animals and people, and Jermaine's just got the best of both worlds. He's able to kind of do that and find that, and you know, be there for those sort of more real, intimate sort of moments. And um, yeah, and 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 then able to find that sort of cinematic scale that these places offer as well. Perfect. Thank you. And really close, really short, just to close. Uh, now the the movie is being showcased in festival. What's the next step for the film? Well, we've got a sales agent and we're hoping to sort of sell it to more territories and, um, you know, for it to play in more festivals and, it, you know, and hopefully hopefully have a, a, a wider release and more and more people can see the, you know, extraordinary Warren and the, the amazing park and Femke. Well, as I began, thank you very much for this film. I, re I, I think really helped and thank you for your time.